Will you date soon and who will you date? Let's discover that today, Crystal Souls. So for this bigger card, we have three pals available. We have pal number one, pal number two and pal number three. Take your time, you can meditate on the cards and then when you're ready, you can find a time stamps on the video directly or down below in the description. Are you ready? Let's begin. Pile number one, let's go and start. Let's see who will you date and can you expect this date to come soon. So for the first card, you can see complicity, connection that is already physical, hugging each other. So this might be telling you this person you are about to date might be starting to bond with you, to connect with you, or there will be some type of move in the physical that will allow the two of you to feel each other. So that is a good sign already and I see comfort especially from this card so feeling comfortable with this person is going to be an evidence okay so I see somebody opening up to you we have eight eight two times which is quite divine so you might see this number a lot 888 perhaps 111999 and as you may know number eight symbolizes the infinite number one newness number nine connects to perfection so in my perspective from what i'm getting with these codes is that you're attracting the one for you that's perfect and that connects to your soul family or to your destiny Something is about to happen soon. I'm not saying you're waiting too long for this date. If you have a crush, if you talk to somebody these days, expect this person to take action. And then you can see during this date, they might open up about their true feelings towards you. And you can see this open heart and that opening with the rose. So in my perspective, yes, there is somebody who likes you at the moment and they want to build this love with you. They want to open up and make that jump. That's because they know what they feel is valid. It is true. And they want you to feel just the same. And they want to know, are you feeling the same? So the way to know that is to, of course, open up. And I'm sure this might be a move to make things official and special for the two of you. As like, now you're mine or now we can make... You know, we can see this perspective of we are together, we're building something together. So expect somebody to make a move, to make that leap of faith towards you and open up during this date. Like I said, you might feel a deep connection with this person, possibly a soul connection, something divine about this connection. And this is going to be quite an evidence when they will open up to you because possibly now you're questioning is this person interested or is it just in my head? It is not just in your head because you can see this paradise is shared and you have a drink. So perhaps going for a drink, we have this very beautiful vacation place at the distance. I'm not sure if this is what you will plan, for example, going on a weekend together, going to a place that you wanted to visit together. I don't know, but I see that there could be some planning in order for you guys to have a fun time. Now, if you plan to be traveling and if you have nobody in mind, this could be a hint as well. Meeting this person while traveling. And with the cocktail, of course, you guys can have a drink together. Now the cocktail, I see this as a mix right? So it could be the symbolism as like mixing well together or let's say completing each other with your own flavor. So expect a flavorful love and somebody making a move towards you and asking you out on a date because they want to open up and show their true feelings to you. Something a very action-driven person who is not willing to, you know, miss a chance to be with you. <laughs> so let's see with these guides and you have again... We have a drink and we have a little, I'm not sure if that's a cocktail, I'm not too familiar with these things, I don't drink alcohol, <laughs> but uh, it could be, it could be something for you or it could be an ice cream because that's how I perceive it. So something delish, you know, going to a place where you can have something delicious together. But again, I see that what matters is to find a place that actually allows the two of you to connect and to exchange. So we have every story as an ending, but in life, every end is a new beginning. So if you or the person is ending a connection or a relationship or ending something in their life this is the opportunity so you are the opportunity or they are the opportunity to start over to have a new beginning and fun fact we had number one remember so it is indeed a new person a new beginning of love that is starting for you and like the numbers say this person is perfect this person is deeply connected to you to not say solely connected to you so expect it and thank you for comforting me when I am sad 
Maybe this person was around when you ended a relationship or when something was pretty challenging in your life. And if you feel like you can count on this person whenever you feel sad or whenever something is happening, then that could be a hint or like a compass guiding you towards this person because that's somebody you can count on. So expect this healing, comforting energy. And we started with that, with the hug, this comforting essence that comes from this specific person. So expect a date, going for a drink, exchanging about even the burden, the stress with this person and feeling comfortable to do so because this person might bring you reassurance as well. Because I can see this like I'm jumping flying but I'm here to hug you you know it's kind of like the jump to a hug so this could be the the next step physical step for you too let's see some couple cards again a hug well it's no yeah kind of a hug but yeah we'll have a hug here but I was looking at this one uh the hug is a little bit more spicy so I want to feel you and reunion I'm not sure what is happening perhaps you guys met before if you used to be friends or just talked to each other before, then I see you guys bonding again. I see you guys talking to each other again and reuniting. Unless if you dated somebody before or if you met randomly or occasionally, then this could be that the next meeting is going to be a, re a reunion for love. So I want to feel you and reunion are the two cards. And like you can tell, there is a lot of passion, attraction. We have butterflies around. So I see a very transformative and healing relationship. Even the butterfly, you, you can see that expansion, that transformation happening. Perhaps it's even what the rose was showing you. as like blooming together, opening up, transforming into the butterfly, feeling free together. This is going to be the feeling. So let's continue with more couple cards. Plays for, play for me and we have the boss. Okay, so they could be a boss, they could be working independently or this could be your boss, maybe. If you're studying, this might not be for you. But I can see that the person you are attracting is a leader. And I see a very strong masculine essence. Um, of course, it could be a woman that is a boss and that has a very strong, independent, bossy vibe. So this could be relevant to a woman too. And play for me, I see that this could be related to their talent. For example, let's say this person has a beautiful voice. They might sing for you. Here you can see the man playing piano. So this could be that. Um, if they're good at cooking, um, maybe making drinks, I don't know. They could be doing these things for you. I think it's a way to impress you and to bond with you with their passion too. So I see you guys doing that together and not just a person, you might be doing that too to seduce your person. And that, if this is showing up, that is something important actually to create this attraction and that bond. And I am sure this person might be very intrigued or curious or even amazed by what you're doing but you might be yourself attracted towards something they do that possibly impresses you or that charms you so let me pick these and let's see some traits about them so you can be attracting someone who is quite popular friendly remember we talked about possibly you having a friend around that was very supportive um listened to you when you were sad which is what we could see there. So maybe that's again related to the fact that you are attracting someone who is a friend and this friend might have romantic feelings for you. This might not be for everybody, okay? So take what resonates with you. And I'm saying that you guys will take it slow. You don't want to rush that relationship. You might be connecting through the phone, which is what you can see on the card. They're calling. I mean, she is calling. This one is more texting. Maybe one of you is more into calls and the other one might be more into text or maybe something that's less uh, like in the instant as a exchange. So we have popular. Remind yourself this person can have a lot of eyes on them. Maybe lots of options too. Maybe that's something you need to know. Popularity doesn't have to be with girls or boys. It could be, of course, related to their work. It could be related to their status or just being popular around their neighborhood. It could be that. <laughs> so let's see messages. Was it too good to be true? Question mark. And let me get a taste. There is a craving for sure. There is this desire, you know, to, you know, just connect and fold each other, caress each other. And you could see that on this card too. Like you can see the passion is quite intense and beautiful too. 
which shows there is indeed that seductive game that's starting, this desire, you know, to feel each other and to connect physically. And was it too good to be true? Perhaps one of you is going to start questioning things, like, is it too good to be true? Um, is it just in my head? Like, what's happening? But I do believe it's just because there could be some distance in the beginning, possibly this chaser-runner uh, dynamic, or one of you is just going to play it cool to not rush into things, although I'm saying that the leap of faith is pretty much this action that shows I actually want to be with you. But it's not a desperate move. It's more a confident move. You see, it's a very different... Uh, approach to things to things so let's continue I uh, will pick the grid first for the signs let me see so uh, here we have I think about Leo because we have number eight and I think about Leo season or August um, maybe these numbers can be associated to a date by the way so we have 19 and number eight and so here we have roses, which is the ones, which is fire energy. Oh, fun fact, <laughs> I just noticed. Number eight is the strength card. So that is indeed Leo. So I was getting it right a little bit, but I did not notice that this was the card. So Leo so far and fire signs. Let's see with the grids. I'll just take these crystals so we can see. If not the sign, could be the season. Man, look at this again. <laughs> again, we are in funny because Cancer Leo, they follow each other for the season. So yeah, July, July, um, I mean, it could start around the end of June, July, August and further. We have Taurus as well. So yes, these are the three signs or seasons that are appearing for you. Let's see next some letters and words. So here we can see perhaps a name showing up the place, something related to your person, anything we need to know about this date or this person here. Uh, okay, I see CEO, so that connects uh, again. Yes, the boss, of course, the, the card, it's here. So yes, you can see CEO, boss, if not about um, what they're doing, it could be what they will become. I see some ego. Could be from you, could be from the person. So this could be a little bit of a challenge. I'll show you a close up. And you can see the numbers associated to the letters too. They could be significant. They could show you dates. For example, the 11, um, the 31, the 13, 21, 12, 11, 14, 15, all that. <laughs> Oh, that, uh, 25, 23, 24, 21. I think I said it before. But anyways, let's see what we have here. I had voice for this. I had volcanic too. Volcano. Could be an area, for example, where they live. Or could be the... The volcano between the two of you. And I associate the volcano as a symbol for whew, the deep, passionate attraction that is about to explode. So maybe that's a sign. Voice. Yes, their voice, I think, is something very charismatic or very... Oh, I see. Easy. So something easy. We have precious, feel, and he. So masculine, a very strong masculine energy. And we could see that with the cards too. What else do we have? Come... Maybe some invitation, come, come, feel <laughs> me. <laughs> I don't know. This could be gas. I think about the gas station. Or maybe, for example, you can be driving to your person. Cool. Somebody cool. emotions and we saw opening card like the opening up card so this can make sense with opening up with their emotion or you can be attracting someone who's quite emotional uh, seam or steam steamy time could be oh camera 
or they could be creating content, for example, or working with anything related to camera. You can see a place, by the way, perhaps initials, perhaps their initials from a place, or maybe they came, if not camera. I mean, we had come, so... And we had reunion, so possibly you guys did meet before. We have go. Okay. Save. Oh, save. And we have me. Perhaps like, you came here to save me. Or feel me. I don't know. Oh, I heard, I heard dog. Or log. Logging. Mm, we have so many things. I see California too. California. I think about Korea as well. Look. Korea. We have... Well, I thought about men, but... Hood meat as well. Well, play with these because I, I can spend ages finding some words. So what I'm gonna do, while well, you just create your own words and see what comes out for you. We will pick my book of love answers. And if you guys want, this is gonna be linked down below or you can just find it while typing it on Amazon if you guys are interested. So let's see, any guidance message for group number one? Okay, take action. <laughs> take action is the guidance for you. I hope you like this reading. If you do, give it a big thumbs up. If you want some personal guidance, everything is linked down below. And I always love to do your reading. So if you want to connect with me, I'll be happy to help you. See you guys next time. Check my other readings while you wait for me. Join the family if you're new. And I will send you a lot of love and kisses. Bye, guys. Let's go pile number two and see who will you date and what can you expect for this date and more hints. So what I see is a very cool connection. Somebody who is going to complete you, who is going to match your vibe, who is going to make you feel happy and connected to... What is on my finger? I don't know. Anyways, so I can see that. And it's funny because they are actually just doing this peace sign. So maybe that was connected to like, you know, feeling peaceful, feeling good. And like I said, feeling like a match, a perfect match to each other. So let's see what the cards have to announce. Okay, well, <laughs> you have this invitation for sure. The date card is showing up. So expect this person to make a move towards you or to ask you out on a date. I see that this person is the one inviting you doing some activity, going to a place, planning something for you. And again, I see the masculine who is introducing something. So first, asking you out on a date with this date card. And then you can see with the ace of rose, the first impression rose. And there is this offering of love. So they have deep romantic feelings towards you. We have number one, number two. So they symbolize for number one, newness. So that's the start of a relationship. And togetherness is what is associated to number two. So a start that leads towards togetherness, being connected, spending time together. And you can see roses again, and we have two of them. So it starts as like a first move and then you can see that complicity and that connection that you guys will feel together. So with this one, I see that you might go on a date and possibly have a drink. I'm seeing this as like spilling the tea, right? So talking for hours, talking about anything about life, anything that's happening, anything that does matter, possibly about your dreams because I see two clouds. And again, we have two like two clouds, two pieces of this watermelon showing up. So I do see that the two of you look into the future as like a duo. You see that everything has to kind of like, you know, make sense together. And that makes sense to you to be with this person and that makes sense to them to be in your presence and start building something with you. So spilling the tea, sharing about secrets, anything about life, anything about your true desires and dreams. And as for these two pieces, I'm seeing that, again, as complicity and connection, as like we are each other's 
yes, individual person, but we complete each other. We are each other's missing piece of the puzzle. And perhaps if you felt like this before, for example, you've been searching for the one, someone that completes you, someone that understands you. This is what I can see as like, that's what you are finding, the right match. Someone who mirrors you a lot. We have Instagram, of course, showing up for these two cards. And that's the only group that came out with this Instagram, Instagram message. So perhaps you guys are talking through this platform if you do use that if not this could be any messaging platform even possibly an email i don't know but there is some interest that is sent by message or sent by um i mean through social media if not instagram it could be something different but i do see instagram for the majority of you this person might be liking your post looking at your stories or doing something connected to social media this could be how it starts as a connection or any type of app Maybe a dating app as well, because we have the date and we talked about app. Um, we have the airplane showing up at the top. And here we can see the globe. So I'm not sure, but perhaps you guys will talk to somebody who is from another place, another country, another state. But I'm not seeing somebody who is too close to you. I'm not talking about your neighbor. <laughs> like that, I mean, it could be for a little bit of you, but I feel like for the majority of you, you will have to take action in the physical to meet this person at a specific place. And you can see that this reunion will be very fun. So expect this date to be quite magical, to have a good time with this person, to laugh a lot and to feel connected, especially. But like I said, this person can come from another place. And I believe the universe is showing you the way to visit possibly a place or to give a chance to the meeting, if that's a little bit far. So making time to meet each other physically. Because I feel like your first impression during that date is going to define if that's the one for you. So far, I'm, I can see this will be the one. Um, I mean, you can see the passion here <laughs> and this attraction and, and she's welcoming the rose. So it means she's interested and this could be you or this could be them welcoming you. But I see that there is interest. So for the couple cards, yes, look. <laughs> and that can connect to that. I am choosing you and I'll take care of you. Okay, so they want and you might yourself want to do your best in that connection. They're choosing you. They're choosing to be with you. And that is a good thing because it shows that even if they have options, you got the priority. Even if they possibly wanted to date other people and see if this could be a match with them, they might be like, actually, no, actually, I want to be with you instead. So I can see somebody who takes care about you. They might have this very strong... Um, rather father or mothery nurturing energy i'm not saying that's going to be your father or your daddy or your mommy no i see that you guys respect each other you are your own individual person and there is you know that uh, you know that that awareness of like i'm not your mom i'm your lover so treat me that way but they will be very caring. They love to give, possibly to cook for you or bring something delicious to your place. They might surprise you with food or something, maybe like flowers or a little note, a poem, something quite, um, quite magical. That connects to something romantic. I'm not gonna lie to you. It could be a drink, buying you a drink, buying you a meal, something like this, but they will actually show you with actions, which is again, very masculine, that they care about you. Like they want to spoil you. Let's see more couple cards for you guys. So we have seduction and a walk in the park. Could be a future date, going to a park, taking a walk, talking for hours or going to a place that is quite magical that allows the two of you to seduce each other and to talk to each other. But you can see this seduction is starting between the two of you and you might feel, yes, this person is interested. This person is showing up to me and I feel taken care of, I feel noticed and I feel good. If you don't feel this way, that's not the one I'm talking to. If this clown is ignoring you, if this clown is not prioritizing you, leave them behind because that's not the person that is meant to go on a date with you and that's meant to create a beautiful connection with you no the one is going to start seducing you start showing up for you making plans with you and going on a walk you know having adventures together 
and starting to seduce you or talking about things that connects more with seduction. So let's see, phys uh, not physical, personality traits could be about you, could be about them. So we have the seducer and somebody who is extrovert. So this might be how, I mean, how this person is going to be. They might love to go to social places or have a group of friends that's quite wide or have a deep connection or deep connections with people that resonate with them. So they might be more extroverted and they love to play that game of seduction. You might find themselves very seductive and very charismatic and charming without even trying. That's part of their aura. That's part of their energy. So this is going, this is going to be something you can feel when being around the person. And you can see like she looks very seductive and she knows how to seduce this person. So perhaps that's you too. I mean, you can see the women even on this seduction card, is the one who is doing something quite seductive and this is working perfectly. So your charm is going to work like magic. So make sure to work on your seductive game because that is going to make this person melt for you. So let's see messages. What does this person have to say? Oh, okay. <laughs> I beg you to please me and we have welcome home, my love. It's funny because we saw the, um, the airplane and you can see the suitcase, welcome home. So perhaps they are traveling or will be traveling soon. And when coming back, perhaps they plan to meet you and, you know, have a, a date with you. This could be the message. Or you guys uh, can be finding a way to spend time in your own place and welcoming this person back, possibly from work, it doesn't have to be traveling, it could be just after work, you guys can be meeting and, you know, bonding and spending time together. And I beg you to please me, I feel like this indeed was the start of what could be happening with the tension in the air that you might feel, the tension down there that you might feel as well. <laughs> you get the point. So there is this craving for sure to be together. So let us continue with the grid so we can see there's a zodiac sign so far we have fire cards with the roses if not fire this could be the season which is associated to spring okay wow well, we have a lot of them <laughs> okay so libra virgo leo um gemini taurus Oh, I kind of see Pisces too. Aquarius, Capricorn, and Scorpio. These are the signs. Could be the seasons, if not the signs. Let us pick now some letters and words. So for this technique, you can see perhaps a name appearing, a message. It could be anything really. For example, we can have numbers. We can have more signs showing up. Let's see what we have for group number two. Follow, that makes sense. We saw Instagram, so they could be following you on Instagram. I see joy in French. Joie. I think about playing in French as well. Jouer, just missing the U. So they could be playing that game of seduction. They could, they could be a gamer or maybe joker. Jokes, joking, crazy help. We have help two times. So expect indeed somebody will take care about you and provide you their help. I see king in French. We have so many French words. <laughs> or maybe I'm just saying French for this one. But um, perhaps you can see something in your own language too. I think about jet. What else do we have? Mm-hmm. Could be laughing together. Then it's pretty much. Oh, we have S by the way. For, I forgot. I always forget about these little, <laughs> little ones. Um, I, we have soir. Oh, we have night in French. Soir. So spend, spending the night together. What else do we have? Sir. So again, a masculine energy is showing up. But that's that's about it. If you see something, 
then this is for you. Let us now pick the book of love answers. Let us some guidance, some message for you. If you want to get my book, this one is on Amazon. You can check it out directly on the platform of Amazon or you can have the link down below. Same thing for my services if you want to get a reading with me. Okay, oh, this is funny because my last, I mean, my previous reading was connected to your fiance. So if you've been watching this one, or if you haven't, then this is the one you need to watch because you might get a portrait about your future fiance, which is possibly the person you are about to date next. Okay, so this is the reading, guys. Make sure to claim this energy. Like I said, if you want to get a reading with me, everything is linked down below. So check it out. And if you want to can check the reading I just talked about or multiple ones because I have many readings on the channel and they are timeless. So enjoy and I will see you on my next reading. Bye. Let's go group number three and see hints about who will you date and what can you expect during this date and connection. So let's see. First of all, you can see there is some move that's made from the masculine about to offer flowers to this lady and she is so excited. So this might be the feeling, that excitement and feeling special to this person because they do something special to you. So expect somebody who is going to make a move or bring you something that's quite romantic or something that, you know, that has a symbol to you. So red roses, of course, that's about love. That's about opening up, showing their feelings. So expect this to happen, especially during that date. So here we have the cocktail party. We have the beauty queen and next destination. They could be hints related to your person or related to you. So the queen, I see this as the femininity that comes possibly from you or from the person. It depends who is watching here. But I do see that this person is going to, and I'm talking about the beauty queen, so if that's you, then this, this is for you. Um, but I see this as like somebody who is going to shine this aura, shine beauty, and who is going to represent this perfection, especially physically, and with the energy she emanates um, the beauty that this person wants as the masculine. We have Miss USA second place. I know that some of you can feel like I am not enough or I might be the second option or I might be the side piece or whatever. If you do create that story, you tend to attract it. But know that you are the winner and you have to, in your head, see yourself as the chosen one, see yourself as the number one. So, it could be a situation shape as well. It could be you maybe dating somebody who is not free. If that's your situation, then this might make sense that way. But it could just be in your head. That's what I'm trying to say. And when you see that you are the chosen one and this person is involved only with you, that's when you manifest that thing. Or if, for example, this person is dating or maybe having these options and you define in your head, I am only with that person and this person is only with me, then you tend to manifest that scenario for yourself. So that's something to become aware of. See yourself as the queen. See yourself as so charismatic and charming that nobody can take your place. You're number one and period. That's it. So for the cocktail party, I see that you might be invited to go to a place, to an event. Could be a birthday party, could be an event for work, it could be going to a concert, going to uh, a retreat somewhere, I don't know. And we have some destination here, maybe traveling, going on a weekend or just going to a place that has been calling you or that's calling you for work or for an opportunity or for a party, maybe. And all these things are guiding you to a certain place, possibly to meet that specific person. Like I said, I would rather choose somebody who is free, who is single, because it could be difficult to deal with that situation because I see number three. So there could be three people involved. I'm not going to lie to you. You might have some situation which is not going to uh, be easy, I think, <laughs> in the beginning. Because you might even question your place in this person's heart. Or maybe that's the opposite. Perhaps you are the one who has different options. And you might be like, which one should I take then? Now, if that's your situation, you need to ask yourself, which one do I see myself maybe marrying or which one do I see myself, you know, going, um, going as like in the long run? Uh, what do I see possible with this person? Do I feel like life is a party with this person? Do I feel good? Do I feel uplifted? And if that's the answer, then that's the one you need to choose. But there could be indeed kind of like a 
love triangle, you know, the type of scenarios you see in K-dramas, this could be your life. <laughs> so get ready for that. But I see that anywhere you're supposed to be, you'll land at the right place when it comes to love. So this date with this person is rather something you decide because you might have options, like you decide that's the one for me, or if this is their situation, then they decide to be with you. I mean, you could see this person is going to do their best to be with you, possibly even traveling to be with you. So if there is some distance physically, then yes, they would take these, this action to make things real, to be in your company, to be in your presence. But this could be a long distance relationship for some of you. And know that this connection is something so strong that, I mean, it, it shows this person will take action to be with you and to, you know, enjoy this time together. I see a very social person too. Like they may love, they might love to be around their friends a lot. They might love to, you know, be in companies that uplift them, inspire them, and they need that to feel fulfilled and to connect to their true essence and to cultivate as many interests or informations or knowledge to grow into the version they are deciding to be today. So I see somebody who likes to, yeah, grow up to be in one environment that uplift them and inspire them. And you might like that about them too, because with these connections and experiences, there's somebody who is quite interesting to talk to. So that's what you can get. There are a lot of hints, take what resonates with you, of course, because that's a general rating. It's not just for you, it's for the collective here watching. So let's see with these cards. I love that we have this little hapo or whatever that is. Maybe that's a um, prune? Prune in French? I'm not sure. <laughs> and we have a strawberry. Maybe fruits could be something connected to this person or maybe something they like to eat. So the world puts off its mask of vastness to its lover. It's funny because we talked about traveling with, so traveling the world and we have the world puts off its mask of vastness um, to its lover. I think it's, it's like a code. Maybe someone who is quite mysterious and it's like, you cannot really capture who they truly are because it's like the vastness of their universe or the vastness of their character. And we have our happy time and this is like a music going on. Maybe you guys will share about music or you have the same taste when it comes to music. Now, what I see with these is especially that you want to see what's next. You, you want to see what's next after this happy time together during that date. You want to see what's possible to build, you know, in that connection and to build with this person. That's why you're not in a rush in my perspective. And if you do have options, this is why. Because you want to make sure that the one you choose is the one that is compatible with you and that resonates with what you're looking for in life and in the future. Because you want to have a happy time. You want to feel complete, even the world is to me a symbol for com like completion and feeling whole. Um, 17, I think, let me think. 17 is the stars card. So the stars represent hopes, wishes coming true. So yes, anything you are currently offered is all that you wish for. So if you do have these options, you need to ask yourself, who do I wish to build something with? Who do I see a true future with? Because that's my dream, that's my wish. And if I had only one wish to make is this wish connected to that person or these options like which one resonates the most which one connects to my true desire so of course related to love and so for the signs we have fire sign for these two with the roses and we have aquarius for the star card so you have a clear picture let's see some couple of cards for you. Sweet dreams. So perhaps this person might message you or connect with you and wish you good night, sweet dreams, etc. And we have a divine relationship. So this is destined, at least the one you will choose if you have options. <laughs> you are meant to be with each other. There is a destiny to fulfill and this is going to be a very deep divine connection you feel with this person. This is why it's something you will know is meant for you and you know resonates with you and resonates with your soul especially so divine relationship could be a soulmate could be a twin flame could be maybe a karmic relationship although i'm not saying karmic because we have happy time here and wanting to build something next together so that's something that fulfills you and that 
animates you and makes sense to you. That's what I can see for these cards. So expect something beautiful. And if you've been receiving this sign over and over again, or this message over and over again, that you're attracting somebody that is your soulmate, that is indeed happening for you. So let's see more couple cards for you guys. Oops, picked one more. Okay, here we have the meeting. <laughs> well, that makes sense, right? Because you could see actions. Uh, we have the meeting and let me take you out. So they will ask you out on a date. They want to take you out or they want to spend time with you. Or if you do have, for example, a mutual event that is happening, you guys need to go. You two need to go. Like you need to find a way to make that happen. <laughs> so there is the meeting. And if you are from the distance, then this is something you will plan to do together and let me take you out so going out for a date perhaps the first date will be that and maybe going for a drink because they're drinking wine i guess so it doesn't have to be you guys drinking wine you can just be drinking juice and you guys will <laughs> you know it doesn't have to be that but i see that indeed you might have plans to do something outside to have a drink or go to a place that allows you to to connect so for the um personality traits i was about to say physical but no so this could be about you this could be about them so if about you this is what they like about you and this could be what impacts you because we have divine feminine and we have transformation if you guys especially if you're the beauty queen here you need to be in your feminine i am seeing so many videos these days about um like not being the golden retriever feminine, but more being of the black cat feminine. So meaning you're confident, you know you're attractive, so you're not running after anybody. You let them chase you, you let them conquer you. And this is what excites men, to be honest, at least, the masculine. And they need to be in that in that chase a little bit to find excitement and to find fulfillment. It's kind of like a reward at the end after running after you so this might be the dynamic that works the best for you if you're the golden retriever you need to be now in your in your feminine you need to be more grounded you need to understand that no man is the priority you need to be your own priority you need to show up as the queen and when you show up as the queen this is when you'll be the chosen one if there is some situation trip because that is what shines attraction this is what is seductive at least from the men or masculine's perspective i'm talking about energy not much about the embodiment of a body so if you are the one who is not desperate who is confident who is grounded and she is not running after anybody you are just a bonus to her you see if you're a man watching this you're just a bonus to her you're just somebody she likes and she appreciates but it does not mean you are her entire universe and it should not be this way and if you put somebody on a pedestal to the point that they became everything then you're going to have a downfall at some point or it might feel this way if there's some distance or if they lose interest this might be difficult for you so understanding that you need to place yourself first maybe this is what this card is about and not so much about competition it's like put yourself first put yourself first instead of putting yourself second in that relationship you are the priority if you make yourself happy your boyfriend or men or even women will be happy but if you are miserable because you're always nurturing giving like a mom it's not going to be something that fulfills them because they'll see wow like you're too much or you're doing too much and the pressure you feel while well, just pretty much carrying the relationship on your own is toxic for yourself and you get and guess what at some point you will want to split up with this person because you're tired because like i said you are the mom you're not supposed to be a mom you're supposed to be the queen you're supposed to be somebody who embodies that strong femininity that it's effortless and they want to give to you. They want to be the one nurturing. So that's what I see as the dynamic. You need to let the men lead. You need to let the men be the men, which is in their code, in, in their encoded nature. And that's, if you're a, a woman, of course, that's in your encoded nature to be a woman and to be in your feminine. I'm not saying to never nurture, to never give. No, it's not that way. You, you need to understand. Yeah, It's not about being greedy. It's about respect. And when you understand your position and do your best to actually seduce your person that way, you win them over. Easy. And you might notice yourself, 
even celebrities look at their dynamic, the dynamic of their relationship and see which one is who and see how, you know, attracted the man is going to be if she is the black cat or how a man is connected to her if she is the golden retriever. It's a different dynamic. Both can work. I'm not saying that's not going to work. But a, the attraction and the passion and the fulfillment for the man is going to be grander if you are somebody who respects yourself because you're in your queen. And, and when you're in your queen energy and essence, it's something, I don't know, even the, the person you'll be attracting is somebody completely different. Because the, the, the man is supposed to be confident around a confident woman, right? But if, you know, I, I don't know, it's difficult to explain and you can study about the, psych the psychology about it. But it's very interesting. So for the messages, you don't need to worry anymore. And I love when you are in the zone. He left, but I'm here for you. Okay, so maybe, maybe that person is going to live or maybe that's about you. But I feel like the masculine is going to be you know, supporting you, especially when you are worrying or when things might be ending because the last one standing, I want to say, is going to be the one. So this person left, but I'm here for you. And I love when you are in the zone. So this could be how you feel when you look at them doing something they like or working on their passion. It might be very inspiring because you can see that spark. Or this could be about when they look at you, they feel this way. And you don't need to worry anymore. So there is this comforting energy that comes from especially the masculine. Because again, you can see the masculine hugging, comforting her. She was crying. She is about to cry or is possibly crying here. And again, you can see that person taking care of her. That's why, again, very strong masculine. And the masculine feels complete or feels um, fulfilled in a relationship where he understands I have a room or I have a role to play that connects to me being protective, me being a giver and reassuring her, being somebody she can count on. But it's I'm not her everything. Like I'm not her pillar in life. She is her own pillar. But I can be that supportive person, that, that supportive partner. And that brings healing you see what I mean? It's that dynamic for you guys. So let me pick next the crate. So we talked about Aquarius and fire signs. So here we can see rather seasons or signs associated to your person. Sorry. Uh, so we have Virgo, we have Libra, Scorpio and Sagittarius. These are the signs for you or the seasons. Let us pick now some letters and words. So for this technique, you can see perhaps initials from this person, maybe from a place because we could see destination. So this can connect to that as well. Ooh, so we have more signs. We have Cancer, Taurus and Capricorn for these. Let's see what we have. CEO, so they could be a boss or will become one. And we can get that. I mean, look at the way he is dressed. I mean, here it's very sharp looking. Same for this. And it's like, I like it. <laughs> Anyways, maybe that's how they will dress during the date. And if you're a woman, I feel like this is how you need to show up. I mean, it doesn't have to be exactly the same or something like this, but you need to be in your feminine. You need to show in femininity. Like goddess goddess vibes you know goddess energy goddess fashion and if you appear this way this person is gonna be on their knees okay so that's what i can see for this so for the words we have precious needed or ed sun feel funny wow and full Pre i don't know <laughs> i was like oh we have reach by the way I was expecting something to connect with full, but perhaps you can see that with the letters around for you. And of course you can see something like their initials showing up. We can see something related to a place. Let's see what we have. Leo, could be a name, could be their zodiac sign. Um, we have a lot of E especially. Ice, ice cream, 
I don't know, could be something you go oh, with Joe. Or Joey, Joey, I'm not sure you pronounce it. <laughs> um, joy, simply that way, joy. Loy, no. Yo. <laughs> uh, Lee, could be a name too. What else? Oh, it's, the sand was bothering me. Um, Joel. I heard João, which is a rather Portuguese or Brazilian name. And isn't it in Portuguese that this means he, ill? Because I think ela means her, if I'm not mistaken. I am not. I mean, I, I understand Portuguese perfectly, but I, I never learned how to speak it correctly or how to write it much. So, yes, excuse myself. I'm not that good. <laughs> Low. Lol, so laughing out loud. I I think about an isle, island, which is how we write it in French. I heard edgy. Mm -mm -mm. This this can write. I mean, this can mean glue in French. Just missing an l, col. So maybe somebody who is going to be glued to you, or you know, physically. Like they love to hug you, they love to touch you. And you can see that on the cards too. So let us continue. So you can see something I'm not seeing. Take your time. If you want to pause the video, you can do that too. So let's see with my book of love answers. And by the way, this one is on Amazon. If you guys are interested, I'm going to link everything down below. Same thing if you want to get a rating with me. Okay, so now is the perfect timing for you guys with this connection. So claim it down below in the comments. If you want, you can check my other ratings while you wait for me or get a rating with me, like I said. And I will see you on my next one. Take care.